What if I told you Junk Junction is the best place to drop in Fortnite Battle Royale? Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Zach McKib Gaming here, back with another Fortnite video. And as you guys probably know, Season 4 has started. And you guys should know that there has been a bunch of hype around it with the meteors and the new Dusty Divot right over here and Risky Reels over here and me meteor craters all over the place. But today, I was thinking, why not start off Season 4 with a different style of video? Today, I'm going to be teaching you, well not teaching, telling you about Junk Junction. Now, Junk Junction it is probably the best place to drop in Fortnite. And for all the games that I will play in this video, I'll be dropping there just to tell you guys how good it is. Now, I'm going to give you some reasons why Drunk Junction is single-handedly probably the best place to drop in Fortnite Battle Royale. Reason number one. It is very unpopulated. Junk Junction, when you go there, you will probably only see maybe two to three other players sometimes you might get pretty lucky and you'll see only one other player or like me you can get really lucky and be the only person there there have been a bunch of times where I have played Fortnite and I've landed here and I've come out of here getting maybe top 10 or so eighth place seventh place places like that oh I thought that was a scar it's just a deagle so this place is very unpopulated reason number two this place has metal all over the place and for the people that are new to Fortnite metal is probably I shouldn't say probably it is the strongest material to build with so when you want want to build I would advise you to use metal a lot of people use wood because it's placed down really very quickly but junk junction it has a bunch of metal which is the strongest resource or material I should say to build with so you so you primarily want to build with metal if you want to stay in your base for the longest period of time Anyway, there's there's uh, a solid chance that there is a vending machine in that will spawn in Junk Junction. In this game that I'm playing right here, there was a vending machine that spawned. It is only a green one, but it's better than nothing. On occasions, there will be maybe a blue one a blue one that spawns that's selling an RPG for 300 metal when you see that opportunity to buy that rocket launcher you break all those all the structures and you take that opportunity wait I opened that chest shoot I'm stupid let's see all right Reason number three, the chests are easy, are easily found, excuse me. So when you go to Junk Junction, there are chests in multiple spots here on this map. There was a chest right there that you just saw me open by that bookshelf. Now all these chests guys are spawns, so do not count, the, count on them to be there every single time you drop here. All the chests that are in here are spawns. There is all there is a chest right here. To be honest guys, I prefer the hunting rifle over the hunting rifles that have the scopes. And there's uh, normally a chest in this little area and there's not. Th so there's always more than likely to be a chest over there there will most of the time 
be a chest right here where that green AR is. And if you go upstairs over here, there will sometimes be a chest right there as you can see. There's ammo boxes here too, that could be another reason. And then also when you go here, there could be a chest in there where that hand cannon is. See what's in here real quick, and it's band-aids. We don't want those. And there's also, most of the time, a chest right there. Now there there is one secret chest location in Junk Junction, and it is right where those bandages are. If you break this wall right here that I'm breaking, there will sometimes be a chest right there. But again, that chest is a spawn, so it will not be there automatically. Another reason is that there are wood pallets here everywhere. Just like the old Dusty Depot, but now it's Dusty Divot because that's where the meteor hit. And as you can see, due to this unpopulatedness, there are 34 people left, as you see in the bottom, not bottom, top right corner. Now, when you go here, there's sort of a route that you want to take. So first you want to go to Junk Junction. Then you want to go to this spot right here that I am heading to right now, which I can't loot because of the storm. The storm is right behind us, so we can't really loot there. Now that's all the reasons why Junk Junction is a pretty good dropping spot. So now, let's play the rest of this game. See if I can pick up a victory. Oh, I see someone. Oh, that almost hit him. Oh, what? Don't worry guys, I am not going to die from the storm. Circle is over here and I'm not super far. So don't worry. And I have two med kits right here. Oh, I saw the dude. See, told you guys, told you guys I was gonna be okay. Now let's use one of our med kits right here. Let's reload our blue AR. Where'd that guy go?
And guys, if you go to Junk Junction, believe me, you will not get a lot of action. But that's okay, because of my style of playing Fortnite, I don't really... I don't normally go for the kills. I just survive for the longest, kill the last person, and win. I mean, if you see someone, go for the kill if you want to. I mean, play your style of Fortnite. But with my style, Junk Junction is perfect for me. And if you like going to Dusty Divot, and going to all the highly populated places, then you do you. And the storm is coming in. But like I said in the beginning of this game, Junk Junction is a huge source of metal. And metal is, again, the strongest resource to build with. But it takes a long time to build, and it is easy for other players to destruct your... Yes. Perfect. That is a huge kill to have. And he had a blue pump. Blue pump. Two other med kits. Boys, we are cooking. I mean, you gotta admit, that guy was a complete noob. He had good loot and he couldn't use it. And I'm in. I am in the circle safely. 15 people left, one kill to our name. And again, if you go to Junk Junction, on your way to these circles that will be here around, around Pleasant Park, around uh, in this area here, you won't see a lot of action because again Junk Junction is a highly unpopulated place to land so our layouts looking pretty good here we got the purple scar we got the blue pump the tack and our hunting rifle we are looking pretty amazing on ammo 11 people left as you can see in the top right corner And if I start to not talk a lot, then I'm just trying to focus, trying to get this victory royale. Just checking if there's people to my sides. People to the left and to the right of me. Ooh. Break down that tree. See if he's behind there. And he isn't. And if you're running in the valleys like this, you always want to jump. Give players the hardest target to hit when they're trying to use their bolt action sniper rifles their semi-auto snipers and there he is
Where did he go? Oh, what? Oh. Alright, guys. So, I hope you guys learned a lot in this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you for the next episode where I hopefully play duos with someone new. See you guys in the next video. Or we'll probably play some more duos with uh, Gage. I'm sure you guys know him on the channel so again if you liked it please like comment subscribe and we will see you for our next video if you guys want me to play any certain game please leave it in the comments below i am more than likely going to get a new game this weekend and i'm going to get the battle pass so stay tuned for that and again if you liked it please like comment subscribe and see you next time